the five tips for Q4. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Two Aussie Thrifters. Um, we thought we'd do five tips for Q4. Um, so we had a pretty successful Q4 last year, so we thought we'd share some of our experiences with you guys to hopefully help you out for Q4 this year. So, tip number one, know what sells in Q4. So think about what is gonna sell at Christmas time. Think about collectibles, new tag clothing, uh, toys for kids. So anything that would possibly be given as a gift to somebody at Christmas time is a great option to look at to sell. Um, so we sort of always are looking for new tags items all the way through the year, listing them all up in the hope that when Christmas comes, they're gonna fly out the door and we make some really good gains in that sort of period. Tip two is to add express shipping to your listings. So if you do free postage, then maybe you could charge for the difference between regular postage and express, or you could just charge for the whole cost of express shipping. But it's a really good option to have on there because coming up to Christmas, if people are trying to do some last minute shopping on eBay, and you've got the same item as someone else, but you have an express option, then you're likely going to get that sale. Absolutely, that's a great little tip. Um, we'll come in handy those last few weeks of rush. <laughs> Number three, uh, sourcing. So this is the time of year where you can be exploring those sort of other opportunities like RA. So whether it's you picked up something earlier in the year at like the mid year sales, or you start seeing those sort of clearance items coming up, it's a good chance that you may be able to pick them up and flip them at Christmas time. Now, we're not suggesting going out and buying every single item you choose. It's very important that you do your research. You make sure that there's value in that item, but if you are looking at RA, now is a very good time to be selling it um, because it's probably gonna sell at its peak, which is why people sort of stack RA and then sell it all at Christmas time. So it's definitely another option to look into, but be very careful. Yeah, you definitely want things that are either going to keep their value or increase their value at that time instead of drop off and you've missed the trend. Yeah, so again, toys is, is probably a really good example of that. Tip number four is to offer extended returns on your listings. So if someone's purchasing at something 30 days out from Christmas and they've got in early, they're not going to give that as a gift until after your returns policy has mm. probably already finished. Um, so to give people a bit more confidence in buying your item, one good idea is to offer maybe 60, 60 days. days for the option to return an item and that way if they give it as a gift and it's not wanted or they've gotten two of the same thing, um, then they have some confidence in you as a seller that they could still return it. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's, that's a pretty, pretty good tip, that one. And tip number five is more about what you do for the rest of the year than Q4. So consistency all year round is really important. So if you're sourcing the right sort of stuff all year round, if you're listing consistently and you're building your eBay store up throughout the year, your Q4 is gonna look a lot better than if you just start right now and doing those things. So consistency is the key guys. That's something that we really, really push with all the people that we talk to. List every day if you can and list quality items. <laughs> So thanks for coming along today, guys. We just want to do a real quick five tip video for you. And we hope your Q4 is awesome. <laughs> and we hope to see you next time on Two Aussie Thrifters. Leave us a big thumbs up if you like this video. Leave us a little comment about what you guys are sourcing and listing for Christmas. And we hope your Q4 is the best one you've had yet. Thank you. Bye, guys.